Hi there, my name is Jake and this is the adjustable angle flange from MakerPipe. This specific clamp is a part of a much larger building system of connectors that let you transform ordinary off-the-shelf electrical conduit into a building material with endless potential. Before we look closely at the adjustable angle flange and learn how to put it together, let's talk about conduit and connectors and see why they're incredibly useful for DIY projects like these. You can buy EMT conduit in the electrical aisle of your local hardware or home improvement store. It's made of steel, but you can easily cut through it with this handheld tool. Maker pipe connectors exist so you can securely join pieces of EMT conduit together and create awesome projects that you can be proud of. We designed them to clamp around conduit and rely on friction. This means that you can build your project without needing to use electricity or specialty tools like a drill or a welder. In fact, you only need a single 5mm hex wrench to make a connection. The clamp design also makes them modular and extremely easy and quick to put together. They're just as easy and quick to take apart, which means you can easily modify or update your project on the fly while you're building it for the first time or as your needs change down the road. You might also have a lot of different hobbies and interests. If that's the case, nothing is stopping you from completely tearing down your builds to repurpose the conduit and connectors for something new. We're proud to manufacture the connectors here in our shop in upstate South Carolina with locally sourced 12 gauge American steel. We finished the connector pieces with a corrosion resistant and UV stable silver zinc coating. This coating combined with the galvanization that comes on EMT conduit means you can build outdoor projects like these and rest assured they will be durable and long lasting. Each connector in the maker pipe system serves its own purpose and solves a unique problem within builds. The adjustable angle flange allows you to secure an angled piece of EMT conduit to a flat surface. You can fully tighten the connection to hold a desired angle or you can leave it loose to create a hinge. Let's look at a few community builds to see some common ways you can use the adjustable angle flange in your builds. Jim built these adjustable solar panel stands that are made to swivel and manually track the sun. The solar panels need to be angled towards the sun, so he used a few of the adjustable angle flanges to securely mount the framework to wooden planks. This project is an entryway cover built and shared by Roger. He utilized the adjustable angle flanges to complete angled braces that secure to the wall and support the frame of the awning. In this next build, we can see the adjustable angle flanges being used as hinges. Billy from Northwoods Engineered made a double gate that attaches to some wooden fence posts that he had in place. By slightly spacing apart the base pieces, he was able to create a hinge that allows the gates to open and close smoothly. Now that we have a good idea of how to use this flange in builds, let's put one together. To assemble the adjustable angle flange, you will need a few pieces from inside your maker pipe shipment. You will need two of these pieces that make up what we call the end clamp. You will also need two of these pieces that make up the base of the flange. We flat pack connector pieces together to save space inside of packages and cut down on shipping costs. This is important to keep in mind because some pieces are used by other connectors in the maker pipe system. For example, the end clamp is also used by the adjustable angle hinge connector as well as the adjustable 180 degree connector. Before you start building, it's a good idea to lay out the connectors in your order and take inventory to better understand and see how the connectors will go together. In addition to the connector pieces, you will need two M6 nuts and bolts. This hardware is included with your connector purchase and will be inside of a clear bag inside your package. To tighten the bolts, you'll need a single 5mm hex wrench. The adjustable angle flange is currently sold in three variations. All three sizes of the adjustable angle flange function and assemble the same way with one exception. The half inch empty conduit version will come with one of these black plastic adapter shims that need to be snapped onto the half inch conduit before you can assemble the connector like normal. To assemble the adjustable angle flange, you will start by securely clamping a piece of conduit inside of the end clamp. Both pieces that make up this clamp are the same, so the orientation of the pieces doesn't matter. You will clamp the two pieces together around the end of a piece of conduit like so. Add one of the nuts inside of the bottommost nut pocket on either side of the end clamp. You want to hold the nut in place with one hand and thread a bolt into it from the other side. Once you get the bolt threaded a few times by hand, you can switch to tightening the bolt with a 5mm hex wrench. While you're doing so, you want to be careful of two things. First, make sure that the piece of conduit that you're connecting stays fully inserted. Secondly, make sure that the top of the end clamp pieces stay on top of one another and do not slide apart. The nut should stay in place in the pocket while you tighten the bolt on the opposite side. You can go ahead and tighten this bolt completely. Next, you will secure the base pieces to the end clamp. Once again, both pieces are the same, so the orientation does not matter. The base pieces will go on the outside of the end clamp pieces. Align the holes in all four pieces and thread a bolt into a nut that you're holding on the other side. If you're creating a hinge, you can leave the base pieces slightly loose. Otherwise, set the conduit at your desired angle and tighten the connection completely. Once the upper bolt is fully tightened, check the lower bolt to ensure it is still fully tightened as well. The 1 inch EMT conduit version of this flange has pre-drilled holes for self-drilling screws. We recommend that you use number 8 by half inch. These additional screws are optional and can be added now for extra security. Now that the flange is fully assembled, you can secure it to a flat surface. There are six mounting holes in the base of the adjustable angle flange, and they are 8mm in diameter. 
If you're using a bolt to secure the flange, I recommend a quarter 20 size. If you're using screws, then you'll want to get some with a number 9 head or larger. Secure the flange with all 6 screws or bolts to complete the connection. Because this connector is designed to function as a hinge, you might experience unwanted rotation even when it's fully tightened. Because of this, it's not recommended to use this flange as a standalone arm that extends out and supports weight. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to check out the rest of the Maker Pipe building system. The standard flange is another great solution for mounting electrical conduit to flat surfaces.